Hi, everybody. I'm Fred Latrimo. Welcome to Let's Go. Great balls of fire. Jerry Lewis from 97 Kiss FM at 620. Latrimo in the morning time. It's Fred, it's Kathy, and it's my pal. I love this guy. I love you, man. <laughs> Bill Ryder. I love you too, man. Hi, morning, we were, Bill. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. We were playing your uh, Toyota spot yesterday. Oh, good. good. And that, that's another dollar twenty. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're great. I mean, they're so yeah. up. and Yeah. They're you. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about uh, people like you. Like, yeah. unfortunately, Jesse White uh, is gone, but, I mean, he had a good commercial life, didn't he? Yeah, well, the thing that, uh, you know, he was really one of my sort of uh, minor heroes because Jesse White was the guy that did all that stuff with Stan Freeberg, who was a major hero. That's right. Yeah. That's and right. Jesse White, I think why I like him so much, he had a wonderful laugh. Didn't he? Oh, yeah. That, that you, was the thing, you know. How do you tell a puff grass man? Huh? You remember that? <laughs> no. Oh, you don't, you don't remember that? The Freeburg um, Puff Grass Man? Oh, is that right? Yeah, there was there was a skit based on that. Well, yeah. old Peola Roll Blues, uh, Freeburg's uh, Christmas thing. And also, uh, you remember the thing where uh, Freeburg goes in and he's the young rock and roll singer? No. It was Well, it was Jesse White who was the agent. Oh, really? You know, yeah. Well, um... I'd love to talk to you more, but you've got a radio show to do. What are you doing up so early <laughs> in the to, morning, Bill? Listen to this I guy's, don't know. Listen I, to this just, guy's You voice. know, wondering why Fred doesn't make his appointments, I guess. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Did you hear about that yesterday? Well, you know, Bill, I, I, I have no excuses. I walked what? out of here with a cold, which you can probably hear. I know. And I just drove home. Yeah. <laughs> That's you, what I told him. Where were you yeah. supposed to be? I was supposed to be, be working with Bill. Yeah, Fred and I were supposed to be doing some commercials yesterday, and Fred didn't show up. And, uh, yeah. you know, I said, now listen, you know, guys, Bad mouthing Fred, please. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Bill. He probably had a very good reason. He had a cold. Can I do his uh, commercials? <laughs> and so I got double the money. Okay. I'm glad you did. You deserve it. <laughs> See ya. 22 after 6 here, Kiss. And now for Cantel, AT&T, Canada's new name for global reach, service, and innovation in wireless communications with KISS FM traffic. Here's Joanne. I think it should also be noted that we gave you the option to have the Friday off, but you wanted to work. Have I told you how much I care for you? <laughs> not yet today. Well, I really do. Thank you, Fred. Yes, and it's not just a physical thing. No? No, it's partly physical. A spiritual thing. It, it starts with it's physical. Deep. And then it winds up kind of spiritual. So you have stirrings again for Joanne. I have stirrings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got ceilings for you. Yes, yeah, ceilings. Yeah, ceilings. <laughs> Are you going to be able to fly today? I'm not sure. I'm going to check it out with the pilot All right. before we get technical. On the Portman Bridge, there has been an accident involving a sling. From the color of your world for great paint, great prices, and expert advice guaranteed. I'm Joanne Sutton for 97 KISS FM. Paul was just saying uh, Bill Ryder was his favorite on ZigZag. He grew up watching Bill on ZigZag. <laughs> He was good on ZigZag, wasn't he? He was great. He's a great local show. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, he's always been a true patriot, Bill has, because I'm sure he could have gone south at uh -huh, any time. Uh -huh. And uh, he was uptight with NAFTA, and, you know, he's, he's really... A true Canadian. Well, we were talking about singing the anthem at the game the other day, and I believe if you're anywhere near Bill Ryder at the hockey game, oh. you will hear a man <laughs> sing the anthem. He belted it. Once again, it's time for Where Pets Are Family, brought to you by PetSmart, the superstore for pets. Uh, yes, contestant number one. Dubuque, Idaho. Uh, I haven't asked a question yet. All right. Okay, our next category, pet grooming for 100. What's the best place to take your pet for a thorough flea bath? Uh, Put him under a waterfall? Uh, uh, a dentist. Uh, Dubuque, Idaho? Or... Could it be that? No. The correct answer is PetSmart. PetSmart? PetSmart can also give your dog or cat a haircut to reduce shedding. I'll be darned. Next question. Who should get an occasional oil treatment to help improve their coats and skin? Uh, my Uncle Larry. Well, that's probably true, but the answer is your dog. Huh? Wow. Who'd have thought? Uh, there you go. Okay, what pets are easiest to groom? I know. Uh, fish. Uh, wolves. Uh, rocks. Rocks? Pet rocks. Tiny rocks. From where? Dubuque? Uh-huh. Could you just wait outside the studio? PetSmart, where pets are fed. 625 here on the Bill Ryder Show with Fred and Kathy guesting. <laughs> and uh, here's a woman who remembers. What do you remember Bill doing? I remember him doing a, a DJ show on GCLG when, when, you know, when it was the Screaming Rock station back in the 60s. And he used to be on Dr. Bandola's medicine show. Yes, That's with right. Normie. Yeah. Yep, with Norm Groman. And he plays blues. He likes the blues. Yeah, yeah. Likes Afro-American Afro music. Yeah, but, but the story of Indian Jim's blues was a really fascinating story. It was about, it was about Jim Thorpe, I believe it was. That's sure, Indian, Indian Jim Thorpe, the uh, great Olympian. Yep. I think in the very end he was vindicated now. 
Who, Indian Jim? Yes, yeah. recently, yeah, very it seems recently. like. And I thought, boy, they should never have pulled that because that was a real trick they pulled on him. Got quite the voice, old Bill Ryder. He does so. Very, uh, how would you describe it? Oh, man, it's slow. I mean, he could compete with Barry White, no yeah, problem. That's right. He would have an enormous <laughs> function. He probably would. <laughs> Hey, John. Hi, Bill. I see you're putting in one of those bug zappers. Yes, I am. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and you know, I, I really can't help thinking how much this bug zapper is like my bank. Hey, excuse me, like oh, your bank? Oh, they pretend to be nice sitting there in their oh-so-elegant big bank building waiting. What are they waiting for? Waiting for unsuspecting customers to drop in. Oh. And then zap! They nail you with some fee. <laughs> yeah, a per check charge. Yeah, a monthly fee. You seem a little frustrated, John. No one has plumbed the depths of the seething rage that burns within me. Mm -hmm. uh, John, have you checked out Interwest Bank? Interwest Bank? Yeah, we go to Interwest. They have this thing called really free checking. And honest to gosh, it's free. Truly free? No per check charges, no monthly fees, and you get free checks for the life of the account. The bug zapper is not like Interwest Bank, is it, Bill? No, it, no, it really isn't, John. Have I ever told you how the barbecue reminds me of the dentist's chair? Are you using enough sunblock, John? Really free checking at Interwest Bank. Member FDIC. Make us your first call. CDI is a subsidiary of Hong Kong Bank of Canada. You've worked with Bill Ryder, too, have you? Mm, back in 1968, uh, I think it was his very first radio show, a blues show on... Uh, what what was LGFM, it was called. That's right. The first underground rock station west of Toronto and north of San Francisco, they built it. Back when TDM was there? And... Yeah, you bet. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, was, uh, he was like the program director guy, music director. Bill's really into uh, rhythm and blues and... And the African music. Now, Bill, I'm wondering if you could, you, can you rap at all? Or? That's good. That's good. That's good. He can do anything. <laughs> Don't forget to mention, too, that Bill Ryder, of course, was the Sasquatch in the Kokanee commercials. Yeah. No. People just tuning in, they're going to think Bill just died. No, he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, doing, we're doing this huge eulogy. Well, I just know that he wanted to hear about himself. He woke up and, you know, he was troubled. So I now that we've talked to him... We... shocking that he was up so early in the morning. Yeah, yeah that's weird, isn't it? We have to get up and go home. <laughs> <laughs> How's the weather, Wayne? Some fog and drizzle this morning, then sunny breaks by afternoon. Yes, sir. Welcome to Jiffy Lube. Uh, yeah, I hear that if I get my oil changed here, you vacuum my car. That's right. And with Jiffy Lube's signature service, it's just a part of yeah, the... Yeah, whatever. Look, you'd better start with the back seat. Uh, okay. Mother of... Oh, what is yeah. the smell back... Uh, well, it could be the raccoon I picked up off the highway last could summer. Be. Yeah. I was going to make it into a half. Stinko. Jiffy Lube's signature service. We'll change your oil filter and fluids, check your tire pressure, clean the windows, and yes, we'll even vacuum your car. Okay, Mr. Crockett, your car's ready. Uh, and here's your hat. Okay, thank you. 